Yo, what's up? Welcome to the channel. We're out here at the Cotter today. Brought the two N80s out. We got Spoolie with us. What's up, guys? How are you? Yeah, we're good, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're fucking good. <laughs> yes, bitch. Yeah, going for a bit of a fall drive today. We were in Ben Dethra last weekend. Uh, but yeah, we've decided to come out for a bit of a cruise. Seeing as the weather's not completely terrible and it is coming into winter so you've got to take these opportunities when you get them but yeah we're just in that local stomping ground having a bit of a play <laughs> Fed the rear diff a bit of uh, dirt for breakfast. Definitely goes to show the uh, difference a good line will make. Good fun anyway. That could have been way worse. I just got sprayed. So there's a bit of a gnarly section coming up here. When we were at Coffs Harbour, I think it was two videos ago, um, my winch sort of gave up on me. Since then I bought a new one, but I haven't spooled it out properly yet and rewound it. So just in case I need it up here, I'm just gonna give it a quick spool out, spool in, and make sure she's ready to go. And then for safety, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and then I'll just slowly winch it in. Nice. And you want to make sure as you're doing it, it's not like overlapping itself. You want it to spool in a nice line. And then for this last little bit, uh, most of the time you'll end up running it out anyways. So we can leave this in sort of loosely. Job done. So we've got a couple big opposites here, and then it gets into the real boggy stuff. I don't think the video does it justice. These are pretty big holes. All right, so first low. We'll try it without the diff lock, but I may need it. Well, that went a lot better than expected, to be honest. That was without diff lock. So the Hiluxes actually have a system where if you're losing traction to like opposite wheels, say, it will eventually under load, try and transfer the power across, which is why sometimes you sit there spinning for a bit and then all of a sudden it'll grab. But yeah, sometimes it's better than having a diff lock in.
Well, that was heaps good. And it looks like he caught his tub. How bad is it? Not too bad. Oh, just the scuff. No, nah, we'll cut that off about there, I reckon. Beauty. We'll go check out this boggy section now. We have driven this before, but it is a lot more chopped out than usual. It's going to be slippery as, but we'll see how we go, I guess. Otherwise, option B is this one, which is literally like a mini gunshot, as you can see. She's steep as. We have tried to drive this before. I'll see if I can put a video in of how that went. But I couldn't get up it. Tom got up it with his big 305s. But yeah, not, not today, I don't think. I could say I sort of cheated there. I tried to stay out of those ruts as much as possible because the last guys were getting hung up all through here. That's a fairly big hole. Definitely felt sketchy dropping in here, but uh, you know, it worked out pretty good. I reckon Tom, but you're gonna have to go through the ruts, mate. Yeah, I was just you know, that. May as well have a play around in it. You're cleaning my car though. Oh, you nearly had it. Oh, it's so close. Out of boy. Oh, first try, mate. It was a bit of a struggle at first, but we got it. Yeah, the rear, rear right was just sort of stuck in this hole. And it was sort of, the front's trying to climb both sides, but because of the angle being so slick, it just kept sliding off either way. Um, but yeah, eventually got it where I wanted, just to drive the front right up there. And then, to be honest, I sort of forgot what was in front of me, and I ended up in that hole, but <laughs> it, uh, it drove out of it, all right. Anyway, Spoolie's turn now. It'll get a bit freaky, but drive it. <laughs> that was the wheel lift. That's what we like to see. <laughs> that would have felt sketchy as. That was scary, <laughs>
scoring high side. Good line. The rear just kicked across coming up that rock, but uh, he had the clearance to save it. So it's good coming out of here. It seems to change every time. Like just get worse, lines change, the ruts get bigger. Um, and then they grade it and it happens all over again. So we'll give it a crack now. That feels a lot better. <laughs> I felt the rear start to slip in and I thought if I just kept driving it might pull back up onto the bank, but yeah, trying to stay high side, maybe I should have gone in the rut. That was a close one. <laughs> well, that just goes to show why it's important you do the, the right sort of prep work. We had the winches ready, we had all the gear ready to go. Definitely did not expect that to happen, but uh, yeah, it's lucky. Lucky we had everything ready. It was just the slightest lapse in judgment and uh, we ended up, yeah, nearly going over. All right, we're good to go now. And we're safe. Shout out to Tommy, he was quick on the recovery there. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh, that was a good bit of excitement for us anyways. I think we're uh, nearly on the way out. So we'll keep going and then go and wash the cars up. Yeah. I think that'll do us for the day. Quick wash, the rigs are looking nice and fresh now. Only a couple battle scars from today. Just a little scuff there, it is actually dented, but yeah, might be a, a tub chop incoming. And then yeah, I've got a little mark here as well, but a bit of paint, that'll be right. Bar held up good. But yeah, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one.